Hey guys, it's Wilson here. Today we're going to be diving into how do you shoot one month's worth of social media content for your restaurant or cafe. When we first started, it was really kind of confusing for us because we were spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on social media agencies who comes and shoots these pictures for us. Yet we don't even know if it's worthwhile. We see the likes, we see people commenting, but is it really driving people through the doors? Is it really worth the investment that we're pulling through? And that's the reason why after months of doing that, we decided to put everything in-house. We decided to train one of our staff to shoot the social media content for us and it has been working like wonders. And that's the reason why today we're doing this video. I'm going to be sharing with you all the tricks, all the templates that we have and all the systems. So then that way you can train your staff and you can save thousands of dollars within that year on social media content and that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's dive right in guys. When we're doing social media marketing, there's basically four parts. Planning, shooting, distributing and engaging. So if we want to be able to shoot all the content in one day, the number one thing we need to do is to plan. Understand why are we shooting this? Are we shooting it for a new product? Or are we shooting this for a new campaign? Uh, whether it be a Valentine's Day campaign or a new product that you're about to launch, it is so important to us to understand what types of contents do we want to grab and what types of contents do we want to shoot. And the reason for, for that is because on the day of your shot, you're looking at crunch time. You want to make sure that it saves you time and energy so you don't have to double the amount of work that you're going to be doing. Condense everything together. Right now, we're planning our shoot for our to-go product. We're shooting for our new product as well, which is the new Tanaki sandwich that we're shooting. We're shooting for our April Fool's campaign. And we're shooting for our new waffle cone item as well. So we're planning all of these items and shoots and content that we're doing all in one day. That's exactly what we're doing right now. So after understanding the goal of why you're shooting, it is very important for you to have a shot list. And when I talk about shot list, we're talking about lists of, of different shots that you're looking for for your output. So when we're talking about social media content, if you're looking for 20 different posts for a month, then you need to plan 20 different shoots. Or if it's 15, then it'll be 15. But at the end of the day, understand that you would need a shot list because on the day of the shot, you don't have time to think. You would want to have these shot lists composed and designed beforehand. A lot of times what we use is a Pinterest for us to find inspiration on different shots that we'll be looking for. And this is a very good resource that you can use to plan your shot list. Now that you have planned for your goals, you understand your shot list, it is very important for you to have your props. Because these are the items that would really elevate your ingredient and your items and your food menu. Um, for us, it, it would require on these props to emphasize on why is it so good about our product. And this is something that a lot of times is overseen and overlooked. So when you're planning for your shot, make sure to have your props ready because on the day of your shot, you do not want to be missing props um, because that's gonna also take a lot of your time and energy and money. After you figure out your props, it is very important to make sure that you have all your equipment ready. So many times in the beginning when we were doing this, we actually do not have our equipment ready and we actually have to reschedule for another day. When it comes to shooting and when it comes to actually planning, you want to have everything in place because there are so many different variations and variables involved. You do not want to miss things. Camera is super important. We have, for example, a camera right here. We have a tripod. We have memory cards. We have um, battery. Everything needs to be charged. Memory needs to be in place. I still remember there was a time we actually did not able, well, was not able to shoot because our memory card was full, we did not have battery, we arranged for actors, we arranged for the store to be old, to be closed so we can actually have a day of shot. But we had to reschedule because of these mistakes. Um, at the end of the day, if you don't have these equipments, it's okay, you can actually use your iPhone to shoot and it still comes up to be very, very nice. Now that you have planned for your shot, we're going to go into phase two, which is the shooting part. It is super important on the shooting part. You have all your props ready, you have basically your shot list, and it is very important for you to be able to have your shot list and follow it. 
if you have everything planned out, this process should not take you any more than two, three hours because you've done all the work already. On the day of your shot, you're gonna be able to go through all your shots and you're gonna follow these shots in advance and prepare for it all in advance. That's the reason why we did all the homework beforehand. And as you can see, when you're shooting, do not forget to get your lighting. It is super important for us to do so. At the end of the day, having a shot list is super important, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be creative. Some of our best shots with the most engagement, with the most comments, are the shots that we became creative with. Use your surroundings. Use lifestyle shots. Use hero shots. Use shots that really tell your stories. People enjoying your products. Just because, once again, you have a shot list, it is only for referencing. It's only to make sure you have all the shots you need for your month be creative have fun with this whole process and you're gonna be able to shoot all your shots within one day one thing to look out for is lighting and composition I cannot stress how important it is to understand the basic of lighting natural lighting is always the best composition of your picture is always very important as well so at the end of the day if you would want to um, find some resources online and I'm I provide a few different resources that I find super helpful in the link below that teaches you the basics on composition and lighting this actually makes your photo so much better it makes it look like a professional photographer that actually took these pictures if you can actually understand the proper lighting and proper composition of your picture so that's the reason why it is super important it's going to save you tons of money with professional photography a second thing that you should also note out for is the styling of the food a lot of times the natural picture and the natural state of the food is not going to be good enough so a lot of times we would actually add in extra ingredients to make it better so if it's cheese we'd add in extra cheese to make it the gooey effect or if it's a smoke effect we can actually amplify those different effects just so then that way we can get the shot that we're looking for so when you're looking into your shot make sure you understand the nature of your ingredient and make it amplify it through pictures because at the end of the day you're telling a story through your pictures and if it looks better more people will come for your shot the third process in planning your shoot is distribution when we're talking about distribution, post-production of your picture is so, so, so important. It is a night and day difference. When it comes down to this, you can actually check this picture out and this picture out. Night and day difference. So when you're talking about post-production, a lot of times it's really intimidating, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually, if, for example, the staff that does it for you, if they know how to do it, great. If you, they do not know how to do it, use services like Fiverr.com. Pay five dollars people will be able to edit the picture for you to make it much nicer or if you do not want to pay for any of these services your instagram filter does wonders as well there are a lot of different apps on your phone that actually teaches you and allows you to be able to do some quick touch ups on your photos and they are definitely a must do for your shop now that you have your shop ready now that your picture is ready and your captions and everything we're going to be talking about distribution we're going to jump right into it Hey guys, now that you have your shot ready, post edited, now you can actually figure out how do you distribute this. A lot of times we are not consistent because we're, we're bombarded with with day-to-day -day operations and it's just at the end of the day, you just totally forget to post and you don't have time to be on your phone um, dealing with the captions like for 30 minutes while there are people walking through the doors. So that's the reason why we use one day to plan for the whole month of distribution. And a really good software that we use is called later.com, which allows you to schedule the post in advance and you can actually see the grid of how it looks like. So then you can actually make your Instagram feed super nice. Um, this is something that we use. Um, so basically you can just go and sign up for an account. It's completely free. Uh, and then you can put all your posters or your pictures in there. As you can see, these are the pictures that we have been taking and we're just throwing them all in here. We add the tags so we know exactly what types of, of product that we are actually uploading right here. Uh, I mean, this tool is super helpful for us and it allows us to plan and distribute the content on a, on a monthly basis. So as you can see, um, this is the calendar view of what it's going to look like. So what we do is we can actually just drag Let's say, for example, we want this picture to be distributed on a certain day. Let's say March the March the 31st. So we drag it, leave it here, 
And right here now I can post a caption. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Da 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 da. And then there's hashtag suggestions. You can tag people with this offer. Super amazing software to use. So um, now that you can actually plan everything on this board instead of your small little iPhone um, or, or whatever phone device that you're using. So this is super, super effective when it comes to planning the month of your content. Now that you have your content distributed, now that you have your content scheduled, the fourth step of this whole process, which no one really talks about, no one really spends the time to emphasize this, is engaging. It is so important for you to engage with your audience. Now that just because you have a picture, post it up, you know, hashtags, a lot of people are liking it, commenting, doesn't mean your job is done. Now is the real work. You need to engage with your customers. That's how you're gonna be able to build your loyal fans. Why are we even doing social media marketing? It is only one element. It's a strategy for branding. The strategy of building a community of your raving fans. That's the reason why we're doing this. And a lot of times we think that social media marketing is one and, and all of marketing. That, hey, I'm doing social media. That's completely fine. No, that is not the case for us. That's a mistake that we've done. We basically took pictures, threw it online. We never really thought about creating a community and engaging with them. That's the reason why we were slipping. And we realized that first we need to align with our customers, understand why are we doing this, and then we connect with them through actually engaging with them, actually caring about this community, and actually nurturing it. That gave us so much brand loyalty. That's what keep people coming through the doors, and that's why we're able to thrive in today's market. So if you want to thrive, make sure that you engage with your customers. That's the key to successfully using and utilizing social media as a platform to grow your community. Now that you understand the importance of engaging, engaging is basically actually having a conversation. It's no more than really showcasing your characteristics as a brand. You can be funny, you can be professional. It doesn't matter what it is. Just be unique to you. So when someone is commenting on your post, hey, you know what, when are you open? You tell them when you're open. If they ask you what ingredients did you use, or is this, let's say, uh, non-GMO, then you can actually answer them with your specific character. It does not always need to be politically correct. Have your character in it. A lot of these big brands are actually doing a really good job, as you can see. So, when it comes to engaging, have an open communication with them. You do not always need to take it so seriously. Put in your character, answer as if you're human. You do not need to become a corporation. Even corporations are doing the same thing as you can see right here. So that's the trick with engagement. All in all, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is basically our secret into planning our 30 day social media content for our ice cream shop. Um, and this is something that I'm sharing with you. You can actually check out the template below into how do you plan, how do you shoot, how do you distribute and engage with your customers. This saved us thousands of dollars, so I hope this resource can save you that much as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Otherwise, subscribe to make sure you follow me. I'll see you guys in the next video.